Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Divi in itself is a fantastic theme. It just keeps getting better and better. I've designed so many sites with it over the years. It's just crazy. Um, and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. You can take it for a test drive from my affiliate link below this video. Today, we're going to be using a free plugin. And the plugin's called Divi Supreme Modules. And if you go to your dashboard, to your plugins, just simply hit Add New. And put the word Supreme in there and hit enter it'll come up right there Divi Supreme modules and like I say it's free mine's already active because I've got it installed on this site but that's the plugin we'll be using for this video today okay let's add these Twitter feeds to our site first one here is just a standard one it's got a scroll bar on the side and I've just limited the height and give it a bit of box shadow here second one I've taken away the scroll bar and sort of customized the background so it's got a gradient background there. And again, it's sort of endlessly scrolling. This third one here, we just kind of made it look a bit like an iPhone or a tablet or something. And again, you can just scroll down and it's a live feed. So it's pulling straight from your Twitter site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder here. And again, we'll do everything on the front end today. Let's go down to where we want this module. We've got a section already in place there. Hit the little black plus sign. Or dark circle with a plus sign in it. Scroll on down. And here's our Supreme modules right here. And we want the Supreme Embed Twitter. And there it is. It's already given us one right there. I'll leave it on that one. I've got mine above here, but I'll leave it on the Supreme Twitter account up here. And by default, it's got that dark background. Let me move this up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And it's got a sort of fixed height there. So I'll leave it on there as you put in yours there. The important thing to remember is there's my Twitter username at system 22 IT solutions one. You want to put your Twitter name in there with no at symbol. So just the name itself without the symbol. And by default, it gives you this, which is our first column there. You can decide to take the header away. And the footer away, which is only that embed and view on Twitter. Border, we haven't really got one there at the moment, so it's not going to make much difference. If you want to, you can take the scroll bar away. Pretty self explanatory, but I'm going to go through it anyway. And it'll still scroll fine with your mouse there. That way they can move quicker through the, the tweets, I guess. Won't do this right now. We're going to use that for the next one when we put our own background color in. And the only thing I actually did to this one was put a box shadow behind it and make it just stand off the page a little bit. So if you go to your design tab, go down to box shadow. I think I used that one right there. I think I just made it a little bit darker. Pull that up so we can see it better. And there's the opacity. Bottom is totally transparent. Top is totally black or whatever full color is. I think I just had it somewhere like that. Just makes it stand out on the page. And of course, 
You can add your normal animations. To make it do what you want. So that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I might have done to this is limited the height of it. And to do that, if you don't want it quite as long or if you want it longer, if it's you want it to stretch down the whole of your page is again, hit the design tab. Go up to sizing. And then you can adjust the height here You make it bigger or smaller. Let's take it, we'll take it up to let's make it a thousand picks just for fun. I'm going to just type it in. And if you slide it up all the way, it doesn't go as high as you want to. You just type in your value. Let's save that and see what we've got. There we go. So that's the first one. Second one, very easy again. Okay, well, let's add the same thing again. And what I'm going to do this time is we'll give it our own background. One thing I didn't mention with this last one that we did here is you can have a dark theme background, which we're actually going to use for this. That makes the, the writing, that makes the writing light. And what I'm going to do what we do with this one? We had no header, no footer, and just that, no box shadow, that's fine. Now I want to put my own color behind it. I'm going to put a gradient behind it. Now if we go ahead and put our background gradient in here, you're not going to see a lot. I'll just put any old colors in there. You can't see a lot there, can you? I think when you get down to the bottom, you'll see a little something. Well, it's hardly discernible there. But if we go back in there, you need to click this little button that says remove widget background color. There we go. Now we've actually got the colors that we want behind that. And because I've made it dark themed, that writing will stand out on that background. Obviously, whatever color you happen to have for your site, you can choose that. Now, I'm also going to remove the sidebar on this one and make it a little bit shorter. So show scroll bar, no. It still scrolls up and down absolutely fine. Notice when I'm highlighting each tweet, it goes to a highlight color there. It does here too. Fine. Okay. And the only other thing I think I did with this one was remove the header and footer. Yep. And I gave it a fixed height. I think, don't know what it is, but you can put in whatever works for you. Sizing height, let's say, try 550. Yeah. Maybe a little short, but whatever. Put in whatever works for you. So that's the way to get it with a colored background or your theme background, anything that works for your theme. This last one here, I kind of had a bit of fun with it. What I've done before with Facebook feeds and what have you, kind of made it look just a little bit like a phone or a tablet. So again, let's add that module. Very easy to do. Let's move this over so we can see. Let's just take a look at this. So we've got the white background, no scroll bar. So all we need to do is light background, that's fine. Header I left in there, foot is fine. Border doesn't make any difference at the moment. Don't want to scroll, don't want to show the scroll bar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the design tab. I'm going to give it a border. And I'm going to make the border. I'm going to select this one so it's got a border all around. And I'm going to make the border color black. Now it won't show because there's no width on it at the moment. Let's pull that width up. 
that's fairly thick, something like that. Again, you put it exactly how you want it. That mine up there is a little, little bit thicker even. And of course, you can customize each side if you want to, to have a different. Let's, for instance, take these borders down, but we'll have nice thick ones on the top and on the bottom. Uh, yeah, eight picks, why not? That's the right one. Let's do the left one. Right, eight picks as well. And top and bottom, we'll have them nice and thick. So there's the top. We'll make it even a bit more, say 30 pixels. I'm not following exactly what I did above. It just, it just has just occurred to me that I could do this to make it even look a bit more like an iPhone here. Ramp it all the way up on the bottom because it's usually a bit thicker there. And let's change the height so it's a bit smaller so we can see what's going on here. And I'll come back to the border. So if we go to sizing, take it down to wherever you think it looks comfortable for you. Something like that. Now all we need to do is go down and put a bit of roundness on the borders let's try 30 pixels and see what happens yeah that's about right something like that it kind of looks a bit like an iphone or smartphone i guess i should say for political correctness and the only other thing i did i just added a little bit of box shadow there so again and let's say this one Again, I'm going to bring that just down a tad in color just to make it stand out slightly more. So I hit the black, full black right there. Let's say something like that. Okay, let's save our changes and see what we've got here. And exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. There's three different ways of styling your Twitter feed. Really easy to put on a site. It's kind of a handy thing to do if you use Twitter a lot but they're quite eye-catching and they're a nice little addition to any website. Like I say, if you're using Twitter, you can probably get a few more followers by putting this on your site. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.